Hey everybody, this is Michael Ralph, and today we're going to be building respirometers. You're going to need everything you see right here, including two kinds of cotton and a pipette stopper apparatus. For this setup, you'll need a pipette that fits through a single hole rubber stopper, and you'll secure it in place either with Vaseline to get a good temporary seal, or silicon to give you a good permanent setup. This is silicon. The first thing you're going to need to do is get a vial into which the stopper will fit and we're going to put some absorbent cotton. Stick the cotton down into the bottom and then into that cotton we'll be putting five drops of 15% potassium hydroxide. This KOH is important for pulling carbon dioxide out of our system so five drops into the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. And then we will cover the potassium hydroxide covered cotton with some non-absorbent cotton right on top of it. Make sure you get a good cover with the whole, the whole piece of cotton. Absorbent cotton can be cotton balls and non-absorbent cotton would be best coming from some sort of fabric, fabric store. Once it's covered, your test subject will go in next. You can do a control with basic glass beads and then any organism that will fit into your chamber can be used as a test subject and it just goes right on top of that non-absorbent cotton. If you're going to test highly active yeast, use a small test tube that will fit into your vial just like that. Once you have it set up, let's run it with yeast. You'll use your pipette stopper setup to seal the whole thing in. Make sure it's good and sealed. And then your last step will be using food coloring to seal the top of the pipette. Now look closely. You don't want to have any free drops coming out. Just use a little touch and you just need a little bit going into the top to seal it. So use the cohesive behavior of that food coloring to slide into the pipette. So be really careful because it's easy to make a mess. Once this is set up, this is now running, and as respiration happens in here, your potassium hydroxide will pull it out of the system, and that decrease in gas will pull this food coloring down further and further into the pipette, which is a measure of how many milliliters of carbon dioxide has been produced. To finish up, use a sand bath to provide some stability to your system and then leave it alone. It's very sensitive to pressure or temperature changes so let it sit and record data periodically as respiration proceeds in your chambers. A final note, the best choice to see a large reaction in your chambers is using highly active bread yeast. You can get it at the store. Put a mixture of the bread yeast and some simple store-bought sugar into a test tube and this test tube is now ready to be activated. All that you need to do is add a little bit of water to the solution and mix it up and then put it into a warm water bath, something like 65 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll get that yeast highly active, get them turned on, and get their respiration going. It'll be very, very active, and you'll see very dramatic results in your system. Good luck.